Hello and welcome back to another day in the arena. It's me, it's CGB, coming to you on the official Magic the Gathering Arena YouTube channel. Remember to like and subscribe and possibly check out my channel, Covert Go Blue, daily MTG Arena videos right here on YouTube. Today we're going to be taking a look at a standard deck that has emerged in the last few weeks of the season when things are usually quiet, so it's a bit of an achievement to find a late blooming standard deck like this. But this deck did very well for user Adel on a Magic Online event, so we're going to try it out in Best of One Arena Ladder, the place I like to get my spiky brain chemicals from. So this is Jeskai Ramp, and the only card in the deck that that is white is Urza Lord Protector, which fits right in because we're running four copies of the Might Stone and Weak Stone. The Urza Meld plan has been done, and we've seen it done right here on this channel and my own channel many times, but it hasn't been done quite in a way like this, where it's backed up by other powerful artifact ramp cards like Cityscape Leveler and Skitterbeam Battalion. The Battalion in particular is a mythic that I hadn't seen played very often until this deck started to do well. And now the ability to pay nine mana and make three, four, four, trample haste that can end the game really quickly. The deck ramps up to those powerful plays using Thran Spider, Urza Lord Protector, and the Might Stone and Weak Stone. It keeps the opponent from absolutely killing it by using four copies of Brotherhood's End to sweep the little soldiers away, and also a braid to take out a few creatures and artifacts here and there. Of course, there are four copies of Bankbuster because most decks that use artifacts, and especially that use the Might Stone and Weak Stone, love the Bankbuster at this stage of the format. The mana is is a bit of a sprinkling across several different types of lands to try to make sure that we have that white mana for Urza Lord Protector exactly when we need it. Not too much, not too little. The Goldilocks effect. All right, guys, we're going to see how this deck performs. It's a new year. It might be time for some new strategies. Let's dive in. Let the Jeskai Ramp nonsense begin. We are on the draw. We don't have a removal spell, which in best of one is usually what you're looking for. We're going to try this hand out, though. We have a variety of three mana plays and a two mana play. We'll see if we get run over or not. If our opponent plays anything kind of mid-rangey, we should be okay. And that's what that Xander's Lounge gives me the vibe of. Harvester. Yep. All right. Well, they'll be attacking us quickly enough. We can get this bank buster down. Ouch. They say go, so they might counter whatever we do here. I think I'm going to try to resolve one of my two Thran spiders. Not only do they not hurt us because the mana is generic, but they also give us more power stones for the future. And if the opponent removes it, we have another one. No removal for the spider just yet. In fact, no plays that turn sequence for the opponent. So that's Sheldred. Ah, uh, this deck removes Sheldred with the Might Stone and the Weak Stone, but we haven't drawn one yet. We're going to need to find one off the top. Life total is going to start to disintegrate very quickly. Let's go ahead and play out some more ramp cards so that hopefully we can draw into the leveler to kill the Sheldred. Two spiders. Lots of power stones. They are really thinking about this one. They have the mana for Invoke Despair. They have to tap out to do it though. And I think they might still have a counter spell based on turn three and that they might be saving it to protect their Shieldred. So they might be afraid to cast Invoke Despair. Looks like the Blade Coil Serpent is going to be the answer. They're going to give it a little bit of haste, and they're going to draw a card. Nope, I'm going to discard a card. Or no, I'm not. Huh, I guess I misread that. I guess it put the whole ability on the screen, but nope, it was a draw card and a haste. All right, we don't have a Might Stone Weak Stone, and this is attacking into a lot of creatures with four toughness. We could block it with the Bank Buster. Uh, I think I just want to triple block it. It can only kill one of them. If they kill the Urza, that's fine. The Urza needs to be alive to provide its discount. So maybe, maybe we were supposed to keep it, but eh. 
Okay, two tap lands in a row. Life total diminishing quickly. Now Brotherhood's End, that's not doing anything. Fable can absorb some of that Invoke Despair though, if that's what they have. Man, what's it gonna take to get this Sheldred dead? We just gotta draw some of our big payoffs. Another Blade Coil, wow. Uh, okay, sure. Are we doing this again? They keep using the Power Stones to cast it, which is weird. Um, am I gonna Brothers End all this? I think what I need to do is discard the Garden. Okay. Oh yeah. Again, it showed me the discard, but they're drawing. Yeah, it shows me that, but they didn't put that color of mana into it. So then they end up just attacking with it, which is fine. If I block with two spiders and they kill one, I lose both. Maybe it is time to block with Bankbuster. However, if I crew this up and they kill it, I'm in a really bad spot, right? I do think they have a removal spell. Still, I guess this is a solution, a potential solution where he's, even if they remove one of these, the serpent still dies, but then I'm left with no board. But I could draw into something to cast Brotherhood's End with. So yeah, we'll try this. All right, two Blade Coil Serpents. It's time to start hurting ourselves and drawing cards into the Shieldred. I still think they have a counter spell. So I think we are going to need to draw a Leveler because the Leveler trigger gets around it. I think if we draw here, we're going to die. Um, this is if it enters the battlefield, if you cast it, right? So if they make disappear that, we are wrecked. I need an untapped land and I need a leveler. I don't think I'm gonna have the time to get it. I have to try to use these cards to get to get rid of the Sheldred. I have to. All right, uh, it's gonna get ugly in here. Look away, look away. All right, are you ready for the make disappear? We can pay it. That's the thing. They have to sacrifice their children now if it's a make disappear. If it's a negate, we're done here. Down to five. Got him! I, okay. Not quite dead. I'm holding this back though. I'm, I'm terrified now of another hasty blade coil. I think their card is make disappear. We've got to be prepared for Make Disappear. Not again! Not again! <sighs> okay, they're going to make me discard, and they're going to draw. All right, right, I'm. I better draw here, because the Battalion's one of the only ways I stay in this game. So, I might draw something more discardable, which the Spider very much is. Three Blade Coil Serpents is wild. Absolutely wild. We still get trampled on. We're down to three. I assume my opponent has four Invoke Despairs and four Blade Coil Serpents, and I don't know what I'm supposed to do about any of that other than just play Giant Battalion. And I think I attack, if they use removal spells, it might make more sense to keep the bank buster back. Yeah. Let's just get a little roar in here. Just one. Maybe we can draw another one or copy it with reflection. We're not quite dead unless the opponent kills the reflection, then invoke despairs me. But the situation is dire. <laughs> it's very dire. Looks like the blood token is going to get used. There goes the make disappear. Here 
Here comes Corpse Appraiser to dig through their deck and try to find the perfect card they need to close the game. I mean, it's looked bad for a long time. When we couldn't find a way to kill that Sheldred, it was bad. All right, two cut downs go to the bin. That could have killed the reflection. That's interesting. It looks like they opted for more corpse appraising. Looking for maybe the last blade coil serpent? I don't know. This time two lands go to the bin. They knew they probably had an answer for the reflection. Maybe they saw three cut downs at once, who knows. Oh my. Four times six is 24. <laughs> I mean, they have to block, but do I die on the counterattack? Let's see. If they just put two, appra two appraisers in front of things, then they take, they go to one, and then I die on the crackback. I think I attack all, let them wonder, right? Let them make their blocks. But then two removal spells kills me the other way. I don't think that's good. All right, we have to we have to stay careful. Okay. We are also just dead to invoke despair. Maybe that's a reason to use the bank buster or at least threaten to bank buster. But what if they don't play invoke despair? We haven't seen one. We've seen half their deck and we've seen three blade coils. I think I'm in a position now that I've put myself in where I have to play this. But I could just make the two twos. If I make the two twos, I've also got a Bankbuster activation to try to get me out of things. Now that they're at 11, I think that makes sense. All right, activate the Bankbuster with the Power Stones. Nope, that's not it. This one. Okay, we did not get a Fable, so we're not protected from an Invoke Despair. All right. Now, if they burn me, they win. Let's see if they can do it. If I get to untap, I could win. Don't break my heart. To lose two life, gain two life. Okay, Soul Kinar, good card, but I uh, one is not zero. Fable? That doesn't do it. Are they dead? We're gonna have to do math. I hate math. They block one, two, three, four, five. They are not, they are not dead. We go to one. Oh my gosh. Cause why not? Why not three in a row? Why not rip them off the top, baby? Happy New Year! Oh my goodness! What a great start to the year. That is um that is an all-time sequence. That is an all-timer right there. Wow. Uh one is not zero, guys. We go first, we have Fable into possibly Mightstone, Weakstone, possibly into Leveler. So perhaps a perfect curve if our opponent doesn't stop it. Do you hear my mouth clicking? It's a cough drop. I'm trying to take care of a little bit of that holiday uh, illness that many people get when visiting family with their their, their germy children. <laughs> so I usually do not put in a cough drop before recording, but I had to here. My voice was gonna go. So bear with me, I'm human. All right. Yep, that, that's right, opponent. Do nothing. Just Just hang out over there. Don't worry about a thing. I totally got this. You don't you don't have to stop me. You don't have to pressure me. You can just do nothing. This it'll it will be fine. Those appear to be mono black. Tenacious underdog. Very common part of the meta here. Curious if the opponent will kill our 2-2 creature or not this turn or play out something of their own like a trespasser. Most people kill the 2-2 when they can. But we're not blocking, that's for sure.
Ooh, shadow. Okay, and they're stuck on land. This is going to go extremely well for us. Do I need to discard any of these? The only thing I need is to draw one more land. If I discard the leveler, they might hit it with a trespasser. I'm going to discard the mightstone weak stone. Actually, I'm going to discard one of each because if we get to just ramp and do the deck's main thing, it shouldn't we shouldn't need backup. And we really do just need a land for it. Would you like to block? No. Okay. The Might Stone and the Weak Stone. Just going to kill the opponent's creature here. And drop a Bank Buster. Basically for free. Cowards! They were too afraid of the leveling that was to be put upon them. We're on the play with a two into a potential five battalion. So we will keep this hand. Look at all those colorless mana costs. It's a very brother's war take on standard, isn't it? All the artifact monsters doing battle. Monastery Swift Spear. That will be fast and dangerous. We draw a Braid, which I think is a better play than the Bank Buster. I also think I just use it now in case the opponent untaps attacks and then have double burn spell that they hold up. Slow down, Sky Guy. There's so many enjoyable things about magic if you just don't kill me on turn four. Phoenix Chick, 1-1 one, one Flyer with Haste. We'll see if they know about our secret reach on the Thran Spider. Two 1-1 one, one Flyers with Haste. Mercy. All right, we'll need a land off the top, but if we get it, we are definitely on our way. Mechanized Warfare, things hit for two now. But do they know about reach? I don't think they know about reach. Don't tell them. It's a spider, dude. Uh, we did not hit the land, so here we go trying to draw it. Right off the top. Got there. Can't use it this turn, but next turn, hopefully. Reckless Impulse, two more cards. We see End the Festivities. And Kumano faces Kakazan, so that represents four damage. Our deck is not good at gaining life. We have to meld Urza to do that. And they are incredibly good at dealing damage. There goes the spider. We're going to have to actually use Mightstone and Weakstone on the chick. Brotherhood's end can kill a number of creatures. I don't think that's the play. We got to keep ramping up. Because we're going to have to turn this around and attack our opponent very soon. Draw now in case we hit the land. We do not. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven next turn. A lightning strike that hits for four. A Kumano faces Kakazan that hits for two. We're basically at four life here. We badly need them to run out of gas or we need to draw Urza. There's a land. Leveler? We can take out the Warfare, which might be huge. Let's go for it. It's already done so much damage, though. Now, they can have hasty creatures, so I don't think I power up Buster and attack. Battalion next turn, though, attacks for 20 if we draw an untapped land. There's the Warfare. Make it stop. Don't lightning strike me. They pass. Land. Not this time. Not this time. All right. We have to blow up the warfare again. One, two, three. Um, let's start with a little bank buster draw. It's going to make a potential blocker. And there's the land that would have been lethal. 
it's not still one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yep, still on eight. All right, we're going to turn the mechanized warfare into a power stone. And we're going to play a battalion on the cheaper number five. That makes some more creatures. We also need something to block a potentially hasty creature. So we'll play this bank buster. And if we get to attack next turn, we're going to win anyway. So we don't need to attack with everything here. Just you and let's go for 10. Nice, even number and keep these blockers home. All right, one turn, four life, two cards from Mono Red. What you got? Can you finish the job? If they had a lightning strike, they would have used it last turn because it would have been instantly lethal. We get the GG, but which kind of GG? The GG I got you? No? It looks like they're throwing it back to us. We go big and you go home. Wow, uh, <laughs> this this deck has um, it's got a touch for close games, doesn't it? But my goodness, is that exciting? All right, we go first. We have an Abrade for turn two. We have Brotherhood's End, Fable, or Spider for turn three. Right into Might's Turn Weakstone. The problem is we have to draw land. We're about a coin flip to get there across two draw steps. I'll take the bet. Let's flip some coins. I'm going to draw land. I feel like it's my day. It's my year. We've got this. Reckoner Raid. We're going to lose some life. Hey! They didn't even keep us in suspense. Misery's Shadow, that's a good abrade target. We could also hit it with Brotherhood's End. Uh, but yeah, I guess that's a tough attack for them next turn. If we block with the spider, they have to put their mana into it, but they can use the Power Stone with the Shadow. Let's just not lose tempo. Don't worry about card advantage as much as tempo here. Also, we don't have double red for Brotherhood's End, and what if we stalled and didn't get there? I'm gonna go for the Fable. I've got two Brotherhood's End that I probably don't need. I would love to turn those into better cards and pressure the opponent with our 2-2. Two -two. Liliana's really good. That is, uh, you know? Now this Brother's End is looking pretty nice because it can take out Liliana. We do need another red source, though. So if we discard one of these. What's the other discard? Is it the Abrade? I think so. Red mana. No lands at all. That's a disaster. That is definitely a disaster. So do we play the 2-4 Spider? It can't block the Menace creature anyway. Nothing can. I think I just play the other Fable and we try to hit our land next turn just as hard. But that's the worst possible right there. Opponent with no problem killing the 2-2. I mean, I hope if they play something, it's something else that dies to a Brotherhood's end. Land. Trespasser does die to a Brotherhood's end. Good choice going into their own graveyard to drain me for another one. Let's see if they plus their Liliana. Okay, this could all work out very well. I'm tired of your secrets. All we need to do is draw a land. There it is. Too bad that we have to transform our reflection of Kiki Jiki here. Okay. Um, do I discard anything else? We have the land we need. I really want this Might Stone to draw some cards soon. And the spider can be a good board presence that gets us there. I'm going to decline. Three damage to each creature and each planeswalker. And our opponent goes down to one card. And if it's a shieldred, hopefully the might stone weak stone will kill it. If it's invoke despair, that's a lot worse. Nice job drawing the land for that opponent. Ugh, that's frustrating. We do miss. And our Power Stone is tapped. I'm sure there's a reason, but wizards. Tapped Power Stones. 
Come on. Come on. Just a few cards, maybe some untapped. You know? A little make a little busted magic card, eh? Maybe maybe break the format a little. <laughs> I love power stones, but I, I hate with the spider that they get to use their power stone first. It's kind of a, a huge downside. I think they're going to kill it. Are you going to kill it? Nope. Just more raids. Down to five. This is getting really ugly. All right. We're going to might stone weak stone. And I guess we have to discard and kill the trespasser. If they have a Shieldred after this, it's really bad. But they didn't have it last turn, so hopefully they don't have it this turn. Because I'm not turning down the Bankbuster. Bankbusters win games. And we hold back the Spider because it's holding off the Foundry. What are we on? We're on 7 mana. So if we top deck a Leveler right now, we can't play it. We've only got 4 life left. We're also dead to another Invoke Despair. But whatever the last card is, it's not a great one. And we drew another Mightstone Weakstone. We could use it to draw cards here, or we could just run the Buster. I think we'll run the Buster. See what we get. A Battalion. I think we'll go ahead and make the Critters. We go to three. But three... <laughs> Three's not zero either. We do have to start hurting them. Our opponent must suffer. So we can't lose to removal spell on spider attack with foundry like that. Or at least we, we really don't want to go to one from that. So we're going to leave one creature back. Uh, attack with these. I'm going to attack with the real one because if they use a removal spell, they want to kill the real one so that they can hit it with a trespasser. Yeah, they've got a removal spell, right? I think so. Maybe it's go for the throat and these are all artifacts. Yeah. That makes sense. It's go for the throat. They drew it. They freaking drew it. Okay. All right, then. We go to one, but we drew the third Mightstone Weakstone to at least deal with it for a little while. Uh, a braid. Okay. Another good card. Gotta be careful with the taps here. It's getting dangerous. All day long, we've had the top decks and our opponents haven't. Is our luck about to change? Because we're in another standoff here that's really close. Even an Okiba Raid Reckoner off the top will do the job. I mean, maybe we'll need the one ones. Maybe I shouldn't play this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, we should play it. Because then we can draw another battalion and potentially win. All right, here they have the block available, so we'll go in with these. I'm not dead to a removal spell from them because I have my abrade. So I can abrade this rogue captain. I want them to spend their turn powering up foundry and attacking with rogue captain and foundry. I want them to think I forgot about menace. <laughs> well, they drew Shieldred into Invoke Despair after that last second Invoke Despair. So, yep, uh, they got me this time. Nothing I can do. Um, uh, that feels bad, but I've definitely had my share of top decks today. Uh, if you like your games exciting and the absolute most powerful top decks in Skitterbeam Battalion and Leveler, you know, doing serious work. I can't recommend this deck enough. It's so much fun, and we didn't even bring into it the Urza Meld potential, which the deck has as well. So you should definitely try it. Take it out, play it. It's a good time. Happy New Year. Thank you for watching this video. As always, I will see you in the next one. You're cool.